Hey what's up guys, the Jordan here back again with another episode of The Brew Dude. And so in this video I'm going to be showcasing my own brew that I made. Uh, if you guys have your own deck ideas for cool interesting decks or some kind of really fun combo, tweet it to me at Cole underscore the Jordan Dude, use the hashtag The Brew Dude, and if I like your deck idea then I'll make a video of it. So the deck we are brewing today is Tilting at Windmills. OTK Dragon, so basically Totem Windmills, if you play a neutral follower, you get, it gets Storm. It gets destroyed at the end of your turn, but it doesn't really matter because you're trying to kill them on that turn, obviously. So to go with that combo, you have cards like Queen of the Dread Sea. So you could Queen of the Dread Sea and Ariette and get a really huge amount of burst damage. Um, if you can't get the Windmills combo off, you have just like the regular Queen of the Dread Sea combo to go off then you have the staple you have staple dragon car craft cards like Sybil, Draconic Fervor, Oracle obviously, Isla. Um, I'm running triple Urios to help tutor out my Totem Windmills and also my Phoenix Roost. Yes we are playing Phoenix Roost in this deck. The reason why is because I was I actually tried recording this video earlier and without Phoenix Roost so it was just like kind of ramp dragon with windmills in it. And it wasn't really working out too much. Windmills was really hard to play. It was really clunky. So I put in Phoenix Roost in there to try to cut that cost down in half. Um, unfortunately, I can't fit Hamsa in here. I know you guys want to see the Hamsa duck cheese. Um, but I don't think that it's quite good enough in here. I'm, I also have the Prince of Darkness because... Actually, you know what? We're going to take out the Prince of Darkness and add in one, one duck. Because we can. Um, did I... The idea with the Prince of Darkness is that you play t you play Phoenix Roost and then your Prince of Darkness got 5 and then you could just go ham on the on the Prince of Darkness cards but but that's for a lot more of the greedier matchups and uh, I don't think we're going to run too many greedy matchups in here so th we got we threw in one Hamsa now so that um, if we need to, we could play Tiltoon Windmills and Hamsa on the same turn if they're not reduced. And then if your opponent has like a Bahamut or something, we could cheese them. So this is the deck guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think about this deck. If you guys tried any kind of combo Tiltoon Windmills Dragon before. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification so you know when new videos are up. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. As always guys, I appreciate the support and thank you so much for watching my video. Haven. Haven's a good matchup if it's a slow Haven. Uh, we don't want any of these. Sybil's okay, but we don't have like a good opening hand with it. Pick up double ally. They can't both be banished, right? <laughs> Alright, this person is here. Slow rolling me. Alright, we got Orko into Isla. Yurio. Or we could Orko into Yurio. Ooh, we have a lot of different options. Probably the Yurio because the trade's better. If we play Isla. Yeah, we just go Yuri on too. Well. We're taking a chunk of early game damage. But we have the Sybil, we have Fervor, so we have some heals. Oh man. I don't know if we could survive. Ooh. We're gonna have to just play the breast now, otherwise we're just taking too much damage. Unfortunately, because I don't think we could play it next turn. Because he would just evolve menu. Like I I wanna play, I need to play the Sybil. Sybil is like just as good because I heal three and then I get a ramp at the same time. Second scripture. He's actually playing like Stormhaven with scriptures, which you don't often see. Yeah, most they've run two. But if he's running two, he open up with both of them for my ILS. I 
At least he didn't have anything else to play this turn. Phoenix Roost is... Might be okay, he's starting to run out of cards. Once he runs out of card, I could just drop Phoenix Roost, and then it doesn't really affect him. Uh, he got a tea time off the globe, I assume. So I'm down to four. He's out of Evo, so um, I could actually survive Garuda if we could clear the board. Phoenix Ruth lets me play forever for three. That takes up my whole turn, so that's not happening. I have to go for this clear here. Uh, Bahamut's, Bahamut kind of sucks because it pops his two time, so he just gets a four attack that can attack. Yeah, we can't play Bahamut. So he has eight damage next turn. Eight damage, I go up to eight with Sybil. I have to Saha Quill here. And then I be he'd be one off. So he needs one damage. He has two draws. It's pretty rough. He might not have it. Oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, yeah. Huh. Is there any way for Lethal with this? We could Phoenix Ruth. Or we could Queen into Tilting and Ariette. So that would give me 8 to 12 damage. So we go up to 4. So Garuda is still lethal, but it's only Garuda. Um, Taurus is also lethal if he has it. This should set me up though, because now I can play Windmills, Queen, Ariette. Oh man, he doesn't have it. Feels good. So... So we go Tilting, Queen, Ariette. That's 14, 18 damage. So we just have to trade the... Sybil in so we have board space. Alright, here we go. Talk chump. We could even have fervor too. But it doesn't really matter, we can't play anything with one play point. Oh man. That took a while to get this combo out. Another Haven. I mean that's good. Havens are a good matchup for us. We'll keep the Uriel because we have we have Dragon Oracle, so we could go Oracle into Uriel. Then if we pick up a Fervor, we can still play it. Phoenix Ruth. Phoenix Roost is always a bit scary against Haven because if they're Seraph or Aegis and they just drop it the turn after you play Roost, it's just like, what do I do now? We actually pick up the Tilting as well, so Yurio does not pick me up anything useful. 
Main you, so is it going to be near Stormhaven? It's a little bit better for us. Because now we don't have to worry about something huge coming out of the Phoenix Roost. We're pretty close to getting the combo already. It's going forever here. Next turn might be the turn we go on the Roost. We could go Roost Yurio. At the same time, we could just clear the board. Oh, Ariet! Okay, let's see. Um, so if we call Phoenix this turn, we have 8 play points next turn. We don't have enough to play Totin and Queen on the same turn. Which, which is what we need for the combo. Because then that would be 22 damage. So yeah, we need we need nine play points. So this turn should just be for clearing Uriel plus uh, Scyther. And how much how much damage do we have if we don't evolve? It would be fourteen, eighteen. So it wouldn't be enough. So we need to save our evil point. I think we're not. I don't think we're going to die next turn if we play, f because we could go roost and fervor. And I'll say you didn't take the damage route for that. All right. We'll, so we'll set up for the combo. All right, Phoenix Roost. This is actually probably the earliest we got him. Like, it's our, it's going to be turn seven, and we're going to get the combo off. Hopefully, he doesn't concede. Hopefully, he doesn't play ward. He has a ward. That feels bad. Oh, it's not Stormhaven. That's why. Damn, was it Berserker? Seventeen, yeah, we only have seventeen. If we go, Isabel, Israfel, and Sybil, because I have to evolve this Sybil. I mean, sure, we could just take this turn to trade things up. I need to save my evil point, right? So we're not dead yet. So I don't think I need to evil to trade into one of these followers. He has 9, 12 damage if he evolves the hair at most. I just wanted to get rid of the ward and that was the best way, like Sah using the Saha Quill to get a rush. This <laughs> moon. So how much damage is that now? 9, 12, 15. He's all right, he's three off. Could he get three damage from hand anywhere? I, he shouldn't, because he's board full. Yeah, so he's just trading. All right, we got him. We got him, boys. Wait, that could attack twice? Oh, wins a ball. <laughs> this is my first time playing against Berserker. I didn't know it could attack twice like that. Anyways. Hmm. 
Hell yeah.